In this video, I'm going to go through at least three different things that you need to know before starting your eBay business. Things that you've never heard of before, things that you've never considered. Let's jump right into the video. What's going on people? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Sam. I'm a full-time seven-figure eBay and Shopify seller. In today's video, what I'm going to do is tell you three things that I wish I knew before I started my eBay businesses. As you guys know, I've done well over six figures, well over seven figures across multiple different eBay brands. I've started them from ground zero and built them up to over six figures in a few months. So definitely you're going to learn a lot out of this video if you're considering starting an eBay business. So make sure you stick around to the end so that you don't miss any crucial information. As always, I don't want to waste any more time and I want to jump straight into it so if you do find any value in the video don't forget to press the like button it will really help out the channel in a big way and I really appreciate that while you're down there don't forget to subscribe hit the bell notification so that YouTube can alert you every single time I release a video just like this that's going to help you make money online let's not waste any more time let's get right into it so the first thing that you need to consider is that it's not going to be easy a lot of people when they first start selling on eBay or when they consider to start selling on eBay feel like it's just going to be easy because they see so many different people whether it's on YouTube Instagram you know, showing off their cars, their money that they made from eBay. So they feel like they can just jump into it and it's going to be easy straight away. But that isn't the case. That's what I thought when I first started selling as well. I thought that all it took was for me to list products on eBay and then sit back and then watch the money come in. There's a learning curve that comes with anything that you try to do. And plus anything that you want to do that's worth doing in the long run is going to take some time to build up. You can't just jump into something and start making money from it straight away, especially if it's worth doing. And eBay is definitely something that's worth doing over the long term. It's not something that you just start today start seeing money and then that's it you're going to be building a long-term asset a long-term business that's going to be able to continuously keep paying your bills for the future and that's the way that you need to see it and with that it's going to come a lot of time a lot of effort a lot of energy when it comes to getting over that learning curve so for me it took around a year before I started to see any sort of stable income from my eBay business and with you guys you have to expect that there's going to be a certain amount of months before you start seeing consistent sales when it comes to learning eBay and getting over that learning curve there's a few things that you're going to need to learn one of the first things that you're going to need to learn is how to list on eBay in a way that it's going to convert a non-paying customer into a paying customer. This is the first thing that you're going to need to learn and with this it's going to come some sort of marketing skills and this isn't something that you're just going to learn overnight if you're not really familiar with how psychological marketing works, the best colors to use, the best way to place your images, the best images to use. There's certain things that you're going to need to learn and that's why eBay is going to be trial and error. You're going to try a specific listing. If it doesn't work out you're going to have to try again, maybe change it a little bit, adjust it, adjust the text, try a different product description. There's certain things that you're going to need to do to make sure that you're going to be able to secure the sale. And with that, it's going to come time. Now with me, because I've been selling on eBay for the past eight or nine years now, it's been a long time since I listed my first product on eBay. I've learned so much about what it takes to convince a customer to buy from me rather than someone else. So these are the things that you're going to learn on your journey when you start selling on eBay and it's not going to be easy. You're going to need to read up on how to do digital marketing, the best way to convert a non-paying customer into a paying customer it's going to be a skill that you're going to learn that you're going to be able to take to other platforms e.g your Shopify store your Amazon store any place that you plan on selling online you're going to be able to take those skills to other platforms and not just eBay and that's why you need to understand that it's not going to be easy it's going to take time for you to learn these skills learn the best way to market your product so that's the first tip that I want you guys to consider before you start selling on eBay let's go over to the next tip so the second thing that you need to consider is whether or not you're going to be able to actually invest into your eBay business when it comes to starting a long-term professional business on eBay it's going to take some money and it's going to take minimum around £1,000, £2,000, £3,000 depending on what product you want to start selling. Obviously if you want to sell a cheaper product then you might not need that much but if you're looking to start selling a product that has a lot of profit margin it's going to cost you a little bit of money and it's going to be somewhat of a risk as well. So that's one thing that a lot of people don't necessarily consider before they start selling on eBay. For me I had to invest around maybe £1,000 to get my eBay business off the ground and then from there I had to now reinvest a further £5,000 and then £10,000 because as my eBay business grew I had to now start adding more products to my store which meant that I had to now invest more money as I kept adding more products so with that I had to either go into my savings or I had to consider different ways for me to get investment sometimes you might need to go to a bank 
to get a loan or maybe use money on your credit card. There's different ways that you can get capital to invest in your business, but this is something that you're going to need to consider because you're not just going to be able to click your fingers and then have an eBay business. You need to make sure that you remember that it's going to take some sort of startup capital for you to get your business off the ground. It's not just going to happen overnight. And even once you do get your business off the ground, you're going to need to continuously keep investing in more stock, more units, more quantity, which is going to equal more money being spent. Obviously, you're going to be making profit as you go along, but you're going to need to keep reinvesting into your business. The one thing that I definitely know about running a business online, not just on eBay, but my Amazon business, my Shopify business, because I'm importing the products in bulk for majority of the businesses that I run. Of course, I do drop shipping now and then, but majority of the online stores that I run, I have to import the products in bulk and then sell it one by one. And the one thing that I've learned over the years of me doing this is that it's very cash intensive. It's not a business that you can just start today and then the money will just roll in. There's a lot of businesses online that you don't necessarily need to invest money into it to get money out of it, e.g. affiliate marketing. This is where you don't necessarily need to have the product, but you're going to promote the product and then get paid for you promoting it, which is commissions. You can do something like a YouTube channel, like what I'm doing right now and get paid from AdSense. I don't need to spend any money for me to make money from YouTube. However, when it comes to my e-commerce businesses, I have to send money to my suppliers for the products. I have to send money to my suppliers for postage and packaging and things like that. There's so much different things that I'm having to spend money on. So this is one thing I want you guys to bear in mind if you're thinking about starting an eBay business is that it's going to take some sort of startup capital and continuous reinvestment into your business. It's not just something that you're going to start today and then the money is going to flow in. So that's the second thing I wish I knew. Let's go over to the next one. All right, so the third thing that you guys need to consider is that customer service is one of the most important things that you're gonna to need to do from the moment you start your eBay business to the end, well, not the end, but as you continuously keep growing your business, customer service is one of the most important things. Now, the reason why customer service is important is because if you don't do good customer service on eBay and you don't provide an amazing service for your customers in terms of making sure that you communicate with them, in terms of making sure that they get their packages on time, whenever you state that they're gonna get their package, make sure that they get it on time every single time because if you don't you're going to get negative feedback and negative feedback will essentially prevent any future customers buying from you now this is something that i already knew because i was a customer before i became a seller on ebay so i knew that negative feedback and making sure that keeping the customer happy especially on ebay is important another reason why having bad customer service is not great especially on ebay is because if a customer opens up a returns case and you don't respond to the returns case in time in the right way then you might get a defect on your account now if you get a certain amount of defects depending depending on how many sales you've had, depending on how many transactions you've had on your eBay account, it's gonna push your eBay account from top rated seller down to above standard or maybe below standard. And that's one thing you don't wanna do. You need to make sure that you remain minimum above standard in terms of the ranking of your eBay store, because if you go to below standard, you're gonna drop in the eBay search results. And that's one thing that you need to prevent from happening, because if you do drop in the eBay search results, that means that you're gonna affect your future sales. And the aim of selling on eBay is to make sure that you rise as high as you can in the eBay search results keep a really good reputation on eBay so that you can have the highest chance of securing as many customers so that you can ultimately get repeat customers in the future if you provide a good service. Make sure that you go into it knowing that customer service is one of the most important things that you can do, especially when you're selling on eBay. So I've got one bonus tip that you need to consider before starting your eBay business that I wish I knew before I started is how exactly are you going to ship out your goods on a daily basis? So when you start getting orders, you need to consider how you're going to fit posting goods into your schedule. So for me, what I did is that when orders started coming in I'd get like 10 orders a day 20 orders a day when I first started is that I'll spend all night after work packaging all the orders and then the very next day during my lunch break at work I'll just go to the post office quickly on my break and then ship out the goods so you need to figure out how exactly you're going to fit this into your own schedules because when it comes to building a real business on eBay of course you can start by doing drop shipping but when you start building out a real business and investing into your company and buying stock and then buying boxes and packaging and stuff like that so that you can send it out to your customers so that they can receive it quicker than if you was to do drop shipping. you're going to need to consider how are you going to be posting your orders on a daily basis this is something that you really need to consider before starting because again there's so many different ways to make money online you don't have to do it by selling stuff on ebay of course this is what i did to build my initial wealth obviously i'm not as wealthy as what i want to be i'm going to be more wealthy in the future but ebay has definitely given me the first step in my financial freedom that i need but you don't necessarily need to do ebay there's so many other ways to make money so if you know that you're not going to be able to post orders out 
on a daily basis or that you don't want to or you don't want to go to the post office then ebay might not be for you of course you're not going to need to go to the post office for the rest of your life right now what i have is a collection service so what they do is that they come to my office space and then they collect all the orders monday through friday every single weekday they come and collect it at the same time every day so i don't need to go to the post office anymore but for the first couple years of me starting my ebay business of course this is what i had to do i had to queue up at the post office so this is definitely something you need to consider before starting so that's it for the video guys those are the four tips that i want to give you today of course there's a lot more tips that i can go into so i'm going to be making a more detailed video breaking down a lot more things that you guys need to know before starting your ebay business so make sure that you subscribe down below and hit the bell notification so that youtube can alert you every single time i release a video just like this one but if you did find any value in the video don't forget to press the like button will really help out the channel in a big way i really appreciate that don't forget to comment down below and let me know what you thought of the video if you found any value in these tips put it down below all right guys i'll see you on the next one make sure you stay safe out there peace